G'day guys, I'm Tim Tam here. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make a wine glass with the textures in Blender 2.5 Alpha 2. <clears throat> Please keep in mind this is a Alpha version so there are still some bugs with it but the bugs are only for the they're only going to be a problem for the intermediate like ex expert users. Okay, so open up that, open up the program, and you're going to come to your cube. I'll be walking through the keys, but this is more aimed to the people who know their way around the program. So press, let's start by pressing 1 on the numpad, 5, have that selected by pressing the right mouse button if it's on default, X, delete, space, type in tube they changed it to tube, I don't know why enter okay so now we want to press zoom in by the um, the scroll on your mouse press S X press S and then Z make it a bit really small I'm moving around with the by pressing the mouse three button the scroll, pressing the scroll down to move around if you didn't know that, you should. Um, press seven, make it a bit more bigger by pressing S. One on the numpad. Alright, now we want to press tab and press this button here and this button. Press Z, press A, and to make them all selected. Deselect them all. Alright, so now I should have this. It shouldn't be see through like that. It should be like this. Alright, so this is our top of the wine glass. Press 1. Or well, don't press 1, just go to the bottom. Press B. And select all of these. Press 1 on the numpad. Z. S. And E to extrude. And S. Now we just want to get the shape going, so just E and S till you get this roundish shape. It should automatically follow the the I think it's the Z axis. I'm gonna try to put a little bit of detail in it. Uh, a little bit of Now I think there's a more accurate way to do this. I'm doing it the good old fashioned way. But yeah. Alright, bring that down. Alright now make sure that press 7 make sure that this isn't that big alright good now press Z A B and select these press 1 on the numpad press Z to get in wireframe mode E and then once you press E click don't click anything else press S scale that down a bit G to move it down a bit and hang on up there now you want to make sure you follow the first line here so E go back a bit mm, yeah oh shit make sure this is all selected E S and follow the contours I think that's what you call them or the lines Match them up, match them up, match these up, and keep on matching them up. And this is definitely inaccurate, but it doesn't matter. Put that down. Go right to the bottom. It looks sexy. Alright, Z. Alright, press A, now press tab, and look, it looks really blocky, um, press move, and add up subsurf if you want, I would definitely recommend it, 
subsurf, and yeah, that's it. Now press 1, scale it down, line it up on the X line, the red one. Press, now type in spa press um, space, uh, type in cube, enter, Z, G, with the thing selected. The cube, not the thing. Uh, seven on the numpad. Put it in, mate, press G and line it up into the corner. If you're wondering how I move around like this, and if you've been watching, waiting for me to say this, then you have a lot of patience. I'm pressing shift and holding the mouse three key. Um, let me make sure it's a bit bigger. Alright, press Z, tab A, right, select this, select that, select the side, X, faces, and I now want you to press 0 on the numpad, press the outline of the camera, press G, then X, G, then Y, G, and Z and line it up. I think you just go empty... No, I forget what I just said. Never mind. And now we have our camera point. Alright, that looks good. Now, go to... want to select the box. Press this disc-looking thing. It looks like a disc to me from this point. New. And it set it to, like, a full-on white. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now, this is the bit when I had to like, go back to 4.9 and check and about the glass texture. Alright, so, click on that. Wait, click on the wine glass. Click Add New. Um, click, I want you to get rid of the fuse, get rid of that. Get rid of this. And I want you to click Transparency and Mirror. Bring these up. Cool little animation there. Expand um, transparency, expand mirror. I want you to select the ray trace transparency. I want you to turn the alpha all the way down. Ah, uh, where is it? And then I want you to turn the IOR, I think that's an I, click it and put in 1.57. Whoa, big change. I want you to put the depth to around. Five, no, four, yeah, four. Um, and that's it for that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Wait, what about the samples? Oh, no, that's right. Now, I want you to turn the reflectivity to zero. No, wait. Um, I want you to put to click it, make sure you can type 0 0.28. And put the depth to four. And, yeah. And that's the glass texture. Um, go to the camera, put it to 100%, zoom out, and press F12. And if your computer sucks ass, then it's going to be really slow. Mine isn't, so it's going to be pretty fast, but I have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so that's your render. Got the glass texture and everything, that looks really sexy. If you're wondering what computer specs are, I have an Intel Core i7-920, um, 12 gig of RAM. What do you have 12 gig of RAM for? Well, I'm doing 3D. Um, I have a GTX 285, GeForce, that is, and a P6T motherboard. True physics, true surround sound, true HD. I feel awesome. And, um... Yeah, that's the wine glass. With texturing, modeling, and everything, it looks really good. And I finished it in around 12 or 10 minutes. Thank you for watching.